Hello everybody, yes sir Nick back with another episode of Jungle Survival. On today's episode, I want to do a little bit of focus on some of the new blocks that uh, are being introduced in the latest snapshot. You know, this is, this is a let's play through some of the most recent snapshots, so let's, you know, let's, let's do some exploring. Now, first and foremost, uh, as I was looking at the wiki page for some of the items, it's uh, a bunch of them need... Whoa, hey, who are you? Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, well, uh, hold that thought because there's a wandering trader just hanging out. Let's go say hi. So I'm going to have to go get some more. Wow, and he's got llamas with him. Hi. Green dye for an emerald? Oh my gosh. Do you buy anything? No, you just sell stuff. So you got gunpowder, blue orchid, birch sapling, magenta dye, light gray dye, and then the green dye. That's crazy. He's so wandering. Can I get on your... <laughs> cool. All right, well, hey, that is that is pretty awesome. I mean, I didn't wasn't expecting that. So that is one of the newest additions to the latest snapshot is the Wandering Trader. Basically, it's a, you know, it's a villager that walks around that has uh, llamas attached to it. So crazy that he spawned here, but I'll take it. You know, hang out by my house. Sorry that my bridge isn't built very well yet. We'll get this uh, fixed up here eh, eventually. So what I was saying was that uh, some of the new items require a lot more iron than I have, right? Because I used all of mine to make my sword and my pickaxe and my bucket. So I do have to go get some more iron. So we're going to go back into the mine. Hopefully we don't die this time. I got my, my sword and my shield. So I should be able to take care of any skeletons that come around. And we'll go down here, go back into the mine. And we'll do a little bit of mining. All right, so that's right. I created the hallway across here. Okay, so now I'm just going to go through and do a little bit of strip mining. So bear with me just a few moments. I'm going to uh, probably do a little bit of a time lapse. I don't know. What are you guys feeling? You guys feeling time lapse? So let's go ahead and time lapse this thing. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be right back after we find some iron. All right, and I'm back. So uh, I was able to get a little bit of iron, but I forgot I had a whole bunch of uh, iron ingots already in the smelter for me. So let's go ahead and collect some of those. So one of the first things I want to look at is a cool new light source called the lantern. And basically the way you make the lantern is you... S Ooh, hey, oh, okay, I'm going to have to do something about that hole in my floor. Um, basically you take 
a torch and then you surround it, but not by iron ingots, but by iron nuggets. So I'll take all of the nuggets, put that around, and then we'll put the lantern in there. So there we go, or put the torch in there. Now we got the lantern. Uh, I'll have to figure out a place to put this, but for now, hey, let's put it right here. Uh, uh, maybe. Oh, there we go. I guess you got to put it on the ground. So I have my lantern there. It's a little bit better light source than uh, the torch, not by much, um, but hey, it's pretty cool. So get some more light there, get a little bit more aesthetics, looks a little bit more classier than, you know, just a torch. You know, torch says, ugh, I caveman, I put fire on stick. Whereas, ooh, I have the significant uh, uh, lantern. Uh, I'm very sophisticated. Aha. Okay, yeah, that was pretty bad. All right, so the next thing I want to look at, uh, I was right. There is a blast furnace, um, which smelts things faster. The thing I for, or didn't forgot to realize was that you have to have cobblestone. So we'll use the cobblestone there. In addition, uh, one of the other things I want to build is a smoker. It cooks your meat twice as fast. Well, with the smoker, you have to have uh, wood. So I have to go get the woods. And it can't just be like the planks. It has to actually be the actual wood that you get from chopping down a tree. So let's go chop down some trees. Ooh, here's a good sized tree. This is one of those times where I had like, wish I had like tree capitator or something from the mod packs. Those are pretty fun and they, you know, chop down your trees much quicker. But no worries, you know, this is Minecraft and sometimes you gotta grind along. At least I have some type of axe. It's a nice size jungle tree right here. Four by fours are usually really good. Oop, and let's just make sure that I can eventually get back. Yeah. All right, there we go. It's getting to be night soon, so I don't want to be caught out here and die though now i have my shield and my iron sword so i'm a little bit more equipped i'm definitely going to want some iron armor for sure and we'll have a little bit of iron so enough to make maybe like some shoes and a hat or something so we'll probably do that too all right so let's see do i have my smooth stone good so now i should be able to see if I can remember how to make this. So I think we make that part down there. We put our furnace up th oop, there. <coughs> Ooh, sorry about that. And no. Uh, oh, that's right. I got to make smooth stone. I got to figure out how to make that. I think what I do now is, do I put the regular stone back in here? There, maybe. <coughs> New things, right? All right, so maybe it's, you put the regular stone... Because you cook the cobble into regular stone. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, another another new change here in the snapshot. So, I almost said Snapchat. <laughs> Funny. Um, in the new snapshot... In order to make smooth stone, you have to actually take stone and make that, uh, you know, cook up that stone. So that's one of those things that, uh, you know, in the past we used to call this smooth stone. And then the creators over at Mojang were like, uh, yeah, no, this is smooth stone. So that's pretty cool. I think I need one more. So we'll just wait on that. It's almost there. You know, watch pot never boils. Uh, watch stone never becomes smooth. Ah, yeah, there we go. So now I think I should be able to do that and then put that up there. Nope. Okay. We'll figure this out. No worries. There we go. There's the blast furnace. And boom. So I think this one, I still put the coal in there. But now I think it like cooks up twice as fast or something like that. So let's see. Maybe. Nope. All right. So I'm going to have to learn a little bit more about what I can do in the blast furnace. Um, 
Uh, it might only be like fours and stuff. That which would which would make sense. Uh, let's see if I put if I put regular stone in here. Does that do anything? No, it doesn't do anything. Okay. Well, hey, good to know. Learning, learning, learning. All right. So let's put our smooth stone. Oh, let's put it in our block chest versus our food chest. No worries, I'll put that there. Actually, I'll take the dirt with me because I do want to finish working on our farm that we got going on. All right, so I think I have enough of that. So I'll have to do a little bit more research on exactly what the blast furnace does. Uh, but hey, we got it built. So we built the blast furnace. And then, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, okay, so make the cobble, take the cobblestone want to make another furnace and then I believe if I remember correctly if I take the logs that way and now I got a smoker sweet smoker all right um, let's see is there anything in here I can cook no not yet or well there's a few things that I can but don't want to yet the next thing I was thinking about making um, I read, I read on the wiki about a, uh, oh, what was it? It was a, uh, like a, like a composter, I think. So let's see if I can remember. Um, nope, wasn't that. So I will have to look that up and figure that out. Um, we'll see. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right. Okay, let's see what's out of here. <laughs> that, that poor trader is still there. Oh well, hey, at least he's in a good spot, so hopefully where he won't die. Um, so I'm gonna have to figure out this composter. So I'll figure that out in a few moments, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, and I'm back. So I think I figured out what I needed to do. Um, the the recipe that I looked up online was for uh, bedrock edition so like the uh, you know the old minecraft pocket edition um, this so that was the wrong wrong formula for it so now I have to create a couple of fences I believe oh I don't know I don't know what I'm doing nowadays like this no Oh, I'm having a day, having a day. Let's see, like that maybe. Nope. All right, you guys get to watch watch me fumble along with this. There we go. Okay, but it's the opposite. Now I remember. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of uh, memory. Okay, uh, let's split those up. I don't need that many, but I'll get those. That should be enough now. All right, so now, yeah, there we go. I want to say I take those two, those two, and those. This is a composter. So the way the composter works, uh, and this is one that's been around in uh, some of the uh, modded versions, used a little bit differently for sure but if I put in uh, like food materials or organic materials like seeds and stuff um, which let's see I have uh, let's see if I can put cocoa in there if I put those in there you put in enough and then it turns into bone meal just like that so now I have bone meal so I have a great way to make bone meal help me grow things faster it's fun times had by all. So, yeah. All right. So, we've so far today, we've made the composter to where we can make bone meal. We've made the smoker. And once I get meats and find some, you know, other animals, well, even if I go and get some <gasps> turtle. Cool. Um, sorry, I got distracted. Like Dory, right? Shiny. Woohoo. Um,. But with the smoker, find some meat, cook that up. Uh, we have the loom that we made in the last episode. So with that one, basically I can put in banners and, and make different designs and stuff. So I'll have to get some uh, wool. So I'm going to have to find some sheep. 
And besides, uh, it's no, you know, it's never good just hanging out and uh, having to suffer through the night, right? And then we've looked at the barrels before, and then we have the blast furnace, which I'm gonna have to figure out how to use. You know, now that I think of it, with the blast furnace, it might be more so that uh, I need it. All right, I'm just putting in like ores. So if I put in like the uh, iron ore or gold ore or something like that, that it'll make, that it'll cook it up. So we'll see. We will look and see. Oh, you know what? Uh, I need to make another pickaxe. And what the heck? Let's go ahead and make a helmet. And then I have enough for some boots. I think that's going to be it. Yeah, that'll just about do it. Which is cool. Alright, so let's get suited up. There we go. Give me a little bit of armor. <laughs> I said I took a screenshot. Oh, well, it happens. Let's see, what do we got down here? Anything alive? No. I am going to eventually have to explore around here because I need to get some more food. Uh, I'm done to like almost, you know, I'm done to my last three dried kelp. So I guess I could go back out to the ocean. Um, I'm going to have to do some more mining, get some more iron so I can get a full iron set. I figure out what the best way is. I'm going to need to, ah, okay, here, let's do this. Put a torch there. Put a torch there. And this isn't quite where I wanted to go, but ooh, hey. Alright, so I got sugar cane. Great news is I'll just chop some of it down. Plant some more of it. There we go. I'll need that sugar cane later on to make paper and books for enchanting and all that fun stuff. Okay. Ooh, there's even some coal right there. Well, you know what? Uh, I'll wait. I'll save it. Save my coal. But the reason why I was heading this way, I'm pretty sure the ocean was this way, but maybe I just got lost. Okay, let's go back here. Oh, that's right. It's this way. I have an impeccable sense of not so much direction. There we go. But hey, great news. They invented torches, so yeah. All right, let's go swimming. Ooh, and you know what? Uh, come here, fishies. Ooh, missed. Oh yeah, you want to put it like that, huh? Whoop! <laughs> Get some of you guys. Come here. Come here. Ooh. Ooh. One needs to breathe. Alright. Okay, hopefully I didn't get too lost. Oh, there we go. So, let's pick up the rest of this seaweed. And we'll get those fish too. So, cool. I think one of the things I can do... Oh, come here. I think one of the things I can do is cook food using a campfire, maybe. So that's pretty cool. It's all great things. Great things are happening to me, to me. Okay. All right. Well, hey, I think so far it's been a little bit of a productive episode. I mean, we did get some of the cool new things built that are here in the snapshot. I uh, didn't quite figure out the blast furnace, so we'll have to save that for next episode. You know, figure out exactly how that thing's going to work. I'm pr I, I want to say that I'm pretty certain that all I've got to do is go and uh, put some ore in it, and then it'll cook up the ore faster and... I mean, it'd be kind of cool if it like doubles the ore, but I don't think it. I don't think it'll do that. Uh, but we'll see. 
So let's make it up back up to our base, cook up some of our food, and then I think I'll bid you guys adieu. Alright. Woohoo! <laughs> Almost fell off the ladder there. That wouldn't have been good. And the trader's still there. Ooh, and you know, most importantly, we saw a trader, so you know, you, you just can't go wrong there. But there we go. Okay, so let's, let's see, can I throw some oh, I throw a fish in the smoker. I need to get some more coal. Now I wonder, can I make charcoal? Nope. Not in the blast furnace. But hey, that's pretty cool. But yeah, so it looks like it definitely makes it a bunch a lot quicker and it looks like you get more yield out of it. I have my composter. Alright. Ooh, does dried kelp go in here? Because that would... Oh, yes, it does. And let's see. What if I put dried kelp in here? Okay, so note to self. Dried kelp does not do much in the composter. But that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Alrighty, so we got our smoker to work. We've got our dried kelp cooking. Actually, I should have left that in there. Uh, well, I can't put it in back. Can't take it with you, I guess. All right, so we got that all set up. It was fun times. Num, 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 num. So, hey, thank you very much for joining. If you enjoyed today's episode, if you learned something new and fascinating, please feel free to give it a thumbs up, a rating, and uh, in the comments, you know, just let me know anything else I can do, anything that you want to see from the new snapshot, or anything that could uh, help these videos get any better. I appreciate you hanging out with me, and you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.